<laughs> it's, it's wait 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 if i turn this way really really hard oh there we go there we go maybe yay i'm free i'm gonna go find my hook oh god now i'm stuck car oh um 1g can can we um <laughs> I did that. I did that too. Oh my gosh. He launched. <laughs> that was great. That was fantastic. And by fantastic, I'm like, no. Nah, no. Nah. That was that was me dying a little inside. Can't believe I dodged that one. Oh, can I just like walk under you? If I can't fast roll, can I just walk under you? I will stay around your ankles if I have to. <laughs> Not to the dodge effect. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stay standing under your skirt. I'm using my power to hold the evil king. Strats! Two hearts! Two heart desperation! Use your sword and deliver the Oh, not the sheep. These are for the cows. <laughs> Long straps will look stop at each other. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. We made it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Do not look in the mirrors. Um, I mean, really, if you look in those mirrors, all you see are the ones on the back we're gonna assume um we're gonna assume everything is gonna be fine that'd be class as a dangerous load irl i mean not in india just saying oh wait we it looks like we got everything oh god no oh. oh. I'm going to have to learn how to deal with those things if I'm actually going to, you know, beat this game. Oh, jeez. Ah! What? Yes! Attack! Oop, got a thing on our... Oh, oh, can we do it? Oh, come on, come on! Oh, come on, you... Yeah, no, you... Okay, two completely different things have happened here. Oh, that seems legit. Nothing unusual there. <laughs> Perfect. Whoa, oh, come on. Oh, no, got it, got it. Saved it. Woo! Saved it. We've had to run and lease another rig because the rig they gave us was crap. So, um, yeah. No pocket protectors were harmed in the making here stream. Well, that's good. Just a 3K. Whoa! Whoa! Hold on. Problems. Woohoo! Going in the field. Ain't no thing. I have no idea what just happened there. That looks like it might be it. I'm sorry, did I just see a dog shoot up into space? Oh. <laughs> How are both of them damaged? I don't know. Whoa. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh my god! There goes Kurt. Kurt to see if 1G. <laughs> All I saw was this lightning streak shoot by me. Yeah. Oh. 1G's looking. Woo! Bypass! 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 Ah! Alright, hard turn. Okay, that really didn't turn. Oh, we were on a fence. It's okay.
Good thing you're wearing a seatbelt there, James. Whoa! Okay, go. Is that James from Farmer's Dynasty? No, this is a good cat. Unlike that stupid James who doesn't work except for... There we go. And I didn't even go over too much to do it. Woo! Second try the ball. Zero, we've secured all the floors. Our mission is complete. Good work, Zero. Thank you. Don't forget to get the flame chip. Fire! Yay! <gasps> Before you come back to the base, give. Yeah! Goodbye. Goodbye. Have fun. I got I got a mushroom right here. And then promptly fell off and died one time. That killed my soul a little bit. And I did that once. And that killed my soul a little bit. <laughs> I was six coins from an extra life. Tab. Is it tab? Yeah. And then you can use Q and E to retract your stabilizer. <laughs> hey Doran, thank you for the raid. Hello, welcome in everybody. <clears throat> welcome in everyone from a Doran stream. We're in farm sim, doing farming things. Well, no, we're not. We're doing logging things because you know things. Squirrel. How was uh, how was Snowrunner? Did you run in some snow? Did the snow run over you? Did you survive? Yes. That, that, that's a good answer. Yes is a good answer. One of these days I'll actually buy SnowRunner and play it. But yeah. I have a lot of other games to get through first. Everything I've seen about SnowRunner is it's a lot more involved than MudRunner. I think it was the name of it. The earlier one that I actually own. All right, now I will stop muting myself constantly because literally after I clicked the go button, Das Bronk brought me food and it was crunchy food. So I didn't want to crunch in y'all's ears. Not just logging. Oh, that's good. Speaking of logging. <laughs> Here's me farm. Logging outpost. Whatever. We're in silver something far map. Whatever map this is. It's the in-game premium expansion map. Maybe it's not premium. I don't know. Oh, go have food then. Go have food. Um, so, we start with this house. Mm, that's about it. Well, there was some farming machinery here, which I sold because it was crap. Um, we got ourselves our F-350. Because I couldn't be arsed to get the uh, Chevy thing. Mm, also, that was a better fit for what I wanted anyway. Uh, we have a cell tower, which kind of makes sense, right? We're mostly on top of a hill. So we leased this to the cell company. So we have a really great cellular reception, which is amazing. <laughs> We got our chicons. I just gave them a chicon shed that they can run through because, well, farm sim. 
Um, you didn't drive the Chevy to the levee? No. This used to be all woods along here. And I, of course, cleared it out. We have a sawmill that is sawing and milling. And we have our three little greenhouses, little Manitou. We got a, a firewood production thing going on down over here. Well, this used to all be um, woods as well, but um, you know, I've cut that. <clears throat> I can't get that to go away, but you know, whatever, farm sim. Um, these are all woods back in my day. Yep, exactly. Uh, the Manny Pooh returns, exactly. How you doing, Newsom? Uh, this I clear cut and then mulched over so that I could drive up and down it, but it got a little bit weird. Um, I cut this out and made a little ent back entry road, which is nice. I just put in the sheeps. We just put in the sheeps. I bought mountain sheep because they're on a mountain. You don't feel bad, do you? No? Okay. Um, and then that radio tower. I put that radio tower in. Cost me 30000 It makes me 56000 a month. In theory. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, all right. What are we doing? We are... We are... I'll turn that up my ear. Nope, that's turning it down in my ear. There. Um, we are going to get some more wood up here. I've developed a love of this particular tool. Because it's really lovely. It's loverly. I just got to line it up properly and deploy it properly or things just don't work. All right. <clears throat> so we lower down. Of course, I've got the DL Cheapo model, so there's that problem. All right. <clears throat> it's leftover pudding. Real pudding or fake pudding? <laughs> All right. Is this one Okay. That one is not okay. Is this one okay? That one's not, not at the right angle. Right. Okay. So. Right. This is this is my perpetual problem. <laughs> I have to find the right angle for everything. Not at the right angle. Okay. Where are you and what is, what is going on here? You should be like. Not at the right angle. Not at the right angle. Not at the right angle. Ah, I gotta get the angle of my dangle right. My dangle ain't angling. That's problematic. Um, why? <laughs> okay. Um, we'll go this way then. <laughs> Where? I don't know. <clears throat> you? No. You? No. Oh, for flock and sakes. Okay, let me get myself lined up. Aha. All right, get off the tree. All right, it must be that. Okay. All right, let's go this way then. No. 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 <laughs> no. No. I wish it would give me more information than just like, Hey, you fail. <laughs> okay, we got a something blocks this tree, which is, aha, there we go, got it. All right, <clears throat> we got our liner going. So that's step one, which is good because we can cut down this little grove of trees here. Yeah, up the hill, because once I get that <clears throat> done, then I can, well, do more with my fence. All right, well, we got that thing done. You know, there's a bigger pole behind Yarder, right? What? Such a good game at teaching you what you... Yes, yes. you such a good game. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now we're going to bring this guy over here because reasons of reasons. Well, mainly because I'll need to, I'll need to move the trees I bring up the hill. Because as I've learned, I bring too many up the hill and then, well, it becomes chaos up here. <clears throat> All right. 
Mm -hmm. Hold on, I need to. I think I need to turn up the game volume for y'all. Maybe. Yep. I need to turn it up for myself again. There is a bigger one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know there's a bigger one. It, it's a trailer-based one. I didn't have the money at the time, so I got what I got. Yeah, I think you're referring to um, forestry. Yeah, there's this one, and then there's this one, which is the the bigger yarder, which I don't have the horsepower for <laughs> in the Fiat. And also, I didn't have the money for. I barely have the money for now. So, yeah. Um, let's cut ourselves a tree. They end up on your side like Santa. Well, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Sure. That'll. That's fine. It's all fine. Timber! Excellent. All right. So you'll notice it says September 21st. I do, I'm doing a 28-day month. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Actually, I do know. Um, <clears throat> I figured I only work a part of a day. Um, because... Reasons. And I kind of felt like it was cheating when I jumped forward like an entire month. Because who works one day out of the month other than really rich people? And screw them. Uh, all right. The fun part is coming back and getting these stumps out of here. Take down this little tree. I'll just carry that one up the hill. <laughs> my plan, my long-term plan, is um, <clears throat> we're going to put more production down there on the lower flat of the land. We'll see what we'll see what we do. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's just going to be a thing today. That has not happened to me in all the time I've been playing this map and now it's happened twice. That's nice. Twice is nice. Okay. Is that... Are you a tree or are you a bush? You are a bush because you don't count as a tree. Fine. All right. <clears throat> I think we're good now. We good now? I don't know. We're going to the top of the hill. We'll find out. <clears throat> yes. That looks beautiful. It looks, it looks beauty, miss beauty mouse. All right, let's limb this stuff while we're down, while we're here. Assuming the limber even wants to work the whole way, which it won't, because it just stopped part way. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Are you? Hi. What? Oh, you're, you're part of this tree. Okay, that's why I'm confused. All right, is that tree then fully limbed? I don't know. I'm just doing things. Okay, yes, now we're limbed. We fendi limbed. Oh my gosh. I wish I could get rid of these little bushes with my chainsaw. Because <laughs> they are really annoying. I know I probably could with, like, super strength or something. But I don't have that. I didn't eat my milk. Drink my milk? Whatever. I didn't eat me spinach, so I don't got me super strength. That's what we're going to go with. No, don't cut that tree. Pain in the butt. Oh, I'll probably have to cut that tree anyway, because it's probably more than the 1.4 tons that the... Uh, thingy can pull but whatever we'll get that we'll cross that bridge when we get there yeah, 
definitely carrying that one up the road. Up the road? Up the hill. Whatever. Um, I was doing some, like, uh, uh, jobs for people, contract stuff. But the map has decided to have a hissy. And it will no longer tell me where this stuff is. <laughs> so I'll accept the job, and it's like, it's in field, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, where is that? I don't know, and I'm not about to try to find it. So I'm like, whatever, I'm done. I'm not going to do contracts anymore. Fine game, be that way. <clears throat> it's very farm simmy. I figured I'd do this map because... Well, I actually don't know why I chose this map. Well, I do. I... I wanted to try something different, and usually I'm always just farming, and so I was like, I'm going to try this thing, and it's... Squirrel! Fine. Squirrels! Squirrels. No, there's no squirrels. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm limbing trees. Why is that squirrels? Where is my tree gone? <laughs> I'm a squirrel that has lost his tree. All right. I think we got everything. Did we? Or did we not? Uh, yep, that should be fine. Okay. <clears throat> can I pick up this log? Ooh, I can. All right, good. It's got a brush on the end. It's got a bush on the end. <laughs> I can use it to clean things. All right. We are not going to put this directly into the uh, facilities because they're just about full, I believe. So we're just going to kind of pop that there. There we go. All right. <clears throat> we're just going to... We're going to kind of create ourselves a little pile back here in the back of the, 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 the sawmill. That's the word for that thing. Sawmill. All right, Yarder. Let's go. Do, do, do. Oh, you're too heavy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Mm -mm -mm. How long is this wood? 34. Okay. I kind of feel like, kind of feel like, maybe 8 meters per cut. What do you guys think? I think that sounds like a great idea. 8 meters. Oh, uh, now we're going to look for 16. Right about there. Uh, 24. Close enough. And then the remainder is whatever the remainder is. Okay. <clears throat> Yarder. Can you take both of these? You can. Excellente. Let's go. I hear my Fiat running up. Woohoo. All right. Go. Bye bye. Bonk. Drop it. Come back. Okay. Let's see. Can it reach? Oh, no. I can't reach far enough. And that's too heavy for me. Uh-oh. Fluffy's here. Everyone run. Fluffy's here. Uh, what am I going to do about that? I'm going to move the arteries. What am I going to do about that? All righty. Mm -hmm. Eight meters. Good enough. Sixteen. Okay, no reason to go any further. All right. Uh, bop and bop. Up you go. Bye bye. Everybody wave to the wood. <laughs> Think. Drop. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Boop. All right. <clears throat> Next tree. Where is your... There it is. Ego eight. Oops, too far. Ooh, exactly eight. Never do that again. Sixteen. 
close enough. Oh. There we go. 24. Uh, never mind. That's the end of the whole thing. All right. Go. Cool. All righty. Where's, where's the kit? Wait. Is that cut? Oh, wait. There's the, there. You tried to escape. Didn't try to escape me. Didn't try to escape me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Get on there. All right. <clears throat> and away. Bye bye. And drop it. And come on back. Here, boy. Here, boy. It's like calling for wolf. All right. There, will I reach far enough for that? It will. There. There. Wee. And away we go. <laughs> I like this toy. All right. Can I retrieve this thing? I should be able to. Well, you know what I should do. Mm -hmm. Let's get the yarder over here. Leave it there for a minute. <clears throat> oh, where's a tree right there? All right, let's see how bad we're doing up here. Oh, actually, for once, this is working out. How about that? Who would have thunked it? Who would have thunked it? Okay, so that is all going to go over there. So, so far, the Arter is doing this job just fine. All right. Good. And 16 yards. Meters. Things. Oh, and I can just carry this up. Woo! We're just going to carry this up on our own. We got the muscles. Right, we're just gonna put it there. That's fine. All right. <clears throat> eh, we're gonna have to load up the firewood and take the firewood out of here soon. I feel it's fine. We'll get to it. It'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Um, did I cut that? I did cut that. All right. Where's the cut? Where's the cut? Oh, bother. Bother, bother. Oh, because you're too far away. Come back here. Okay. Now will you connect the both? You will now. Woohoo! How you feeling, Wolf? How's your cold? Ding! Drop it. <laughs> um, okay, these guys are, I think are too far for the yarder to get. This should be okay. I'm in a bush. No, uh, I'm away from him now. Hi, Zerinar. <laughs> Trees. Uh, yes, covered in trees, that is true. All right, we got another tail end. Uh, you feel better when your voice has been decimated? You sound like Vam leaving a voicemail to a young blonde. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah. <clears throat> one of the big reasons I did this map was because it was one of those maps where you could feel like you're building something from nothing because you basically have nothing on this farm initially um did i cut is this the one i just cut holy cats i don't know nope this was uh come here wrong way this way um because i felt like i was building up from nothing which i kind of enjoy right like i, I like role playing it a bit
Um, where is the cut? Where is the cut in the ra Okay, you know what? You go there. Aha. Can I connect you to something? No. Wait, what? Hold on. Ah, there's the cut. There we go. Up you go. Woo. All right. Um, yeah, I like building up from nothing and too much, like, two or three million dollars of funding feels a bit much. A bit like No Man's Land. Yes, a bit like No Man's Land, but I didn't want it to be exactly like No Man. Okay, 1.5 tons. Yeah, I can't pull that. Okay, where is my, where's my thing of my jigger going? It's going all the way over there. Um, do I want to cut any trees down here? I don't think I do. Hey, Sato, how's it going? Um, yeah, I don't think I want to. I think we want to. I think we want to. Well, I can get the bottom piece up if I'm careful here. Um, get our eight meter long cut here. Fine. 8.19 is fine. It's perfectly fine. All right. <laughs> up. Up. And go. Okay, <clears throat> I don't think anything else is in the reachable range of the thing, so I gotta move it. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I saw that. I saw that, Sato. Um, I thought about. Um, I thought about playing Motor Town today, but <clears throat> changed my mind the fiat there for a minute get inside it's a little bit quieter nope it's no quieter inside than it is outside oh well <clears throat> all right uh, all right really quick check on the production facilities yeah i really don't have a reason to put any more wood in those facilities You'll come flip some trucks. Uh, well, then I'd have a use for my big Brutus Wrecker, wouldn't I? Rescuing you. Which I was I was fully aware might be a thing in this game, too. So I actually, I think, I think I put it in this one. Did I put it in this one? I don't know. Let's find out. It's the end of trucks, I think. Hmm, I guess I didn't. That's odd. You would have thought I would have done that. It would have been cars. No, is it in MISC? No, I th thought it was here. I'm apparently wrong. Or it's somewhere that I just can't find. I did get a mod for tow trucks and um, can't find them. Hmm. Well, that's that's fun. Those grabby thingies on my tractor, a mod or base game. What? Those? That's a log fork. Whatever. Get off. Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay, I've now created a mess for myself again. Nobody's surprised by that. All right. Let's just get the Fiat out of the way completely for a minute. <clears throat> I should have staged a Fiat over here. Realistically, this is the better place to put the Fiat, but I wanted to get those trees. So, you know. Whatever. 
Okay, legit production point, you're starting to give me a headache. Come here, where where are you? Where, where are you? Uh, just turn off for a minute. Ah, thank you. I'll turn that on later. Looks better than the one you have. Well, that one is technically a mod, um, but it the, the mod doesn't actually do anything to the um, forks. <laughs> the mod lets me strap the forks down so that they don't wander off. Okay, I'm going to have to move that firewood, aren't I? Yep. I think I'm going to... Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Got to move the firewood. This is becoming a bigger faff than I wanted it to be. Yeah, I got a I got a mod. I got a mod for the front loaders and actually all the tools. It's exactly the same as the base game stuff. It just adds the ability to strap them down. Which actually comes in handy because I can load the entire tractor onto this drop deck trailer. It's technically not a drop deck, but uh, I can load it on there. And if I strap down the forks, then the tractor stays on the freaking trailer instead of wandering off. Because why would they have put the ability in the game to actually strap your equipment onto equipment trailers? Because, you know, reasons and reasons. Yeah, it's it, because of the hilliness of this uh, map, I was like, I have to be able to strap equipment onto the uh, trailers. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Really? Okay, sure, whatever. I don't care. I'll fix that later. Probably, I probably was going to put those, should have put those in the back of the pickup. Where's the pickup? Oh, it's over there. Okay. All right, Sato. Have a good day. On a fluffy farming map, I've been busy. <laughs> I know he'd made the decision that you can't flip fields outside of your zone, but I'm a pendant, <laughs> so uh, we didn't say anything about taking contracts outside of our zone. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy out of here. We'll just park it back here because I'm gonna have to fix that firewood later. Always finding loopholes. Exactly. I mean, I'm part Italian. That's what Italians do, right? Find loopholes. Well, that's what it was, Wolf. So I had a bunch of spud uh, spud fields in my zone. So I, I leased a spud harvester. And uh, and then I looked at the contracts, and there was like three contracts that I was willing to do <laughs> um, for spuds that were in um, Hoosin in your zone, I think. I don't know. Um, so I was like, yep, I'm going to do those. One, I don't think they care. And two their contracts so and then I did some bailing contracts because I needed I needed hay for Z horses and I've learned something in that map so for for those that don't know in um, Wolf's map we're playing Ficklestein or something like that. I don't even know the name of the map. It starts with an F and it has a V2 in it. Whatever. So my horses, you know, normal horses. Oh, okay. Horses are never normal. Um, I like Ficklestein better. Okay. Thick, thick, tall, thick, tall, whatever. Um, I like Ficklestein. Um, but normal map horses, right? They require oats, hay, water. You don't really have to give them anything else. They're happy. Um, 
there's zero chance of you taking a spud contract. Yeah, I figured, Husen. I figured you were okay if I did those fields. Um, but I found out that horses require pelleted grain. Now, guess how you get pelleted grain? You need to have a grain mill, and you need to drop grain off, and then you have to wait for it to process, and then you can get pelleted grain. I started doing some digging. I think that's required for more than just horses, which is annoying, and it does change a little bit of what I need to do. So, yeah. Yes, it is highly inconvenient, but that's okay. I rode your horse for you, Serenar. So, your horse has at least been exercised recently. So I'm, I'm thinking that after I uh, get these trees up here and then go grind down those stumps, that I might, um, my, my character might go on a little holiday <laughs> for like seven days, because then I can move it to October. Exorcised, Serenar Sorcerer's possessed. Yeah, sometimes horses get possessed, Susan. Even real life horses sometimes get possessed. Just ask my sister or a friend of mine slash ex-girlfriend of mine, both of whom got hospitalized because of horses that decided to just lose their rag. Literally one was on the rag and lost her rag. And um, yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was an event. That wasn't the horse that hurt my sister. That was a horse that hurt the, uh, my girlfriend at the time. <laughs> That was seven broken ribs, a punctured lung, a lacerated liver, lacerated spleen, um, lost two teeth, massive concussion. Yeah. All because the horse was on the rag and lost it. At least in the game, they can't hurt you. I mean, it's true. I mean, realistically, any animal can hurt you if it takes a mind to do. I mean, except for a goldfish, I guess. A goldfish can't hurt you. Or I mean... I kind of want to say goldfish can't hurt you, but a sloth. I mean, at least with a sloth, you'd see the attack coming for at least three days. So you'd have time to get out of the way. George just gives you tinnitus. Well, I mean, if George wanted to, George could, you know, cause some damage. Just take George off his food for a while and see what happens. I mean, there's all the stories of the crazy cat ladies that <clears throat> pass away and their cats end up eating them because the cats get hungry. All right, um, that is not going to happen. So we're going to do one at a time then. All right, sounds good. Yep. You fall down the stairs and get eaten. Yeah, pretty much. So I found this comic on gocomics.com. I think it's hilarious. It's called Texts from Mittens. Um, and uh, it's basically a cat texting with its owner. And it's just hilarious. It's, it's just like, I can totally see a cat texting like that. <laughs>
And it kind of makes me like, wow, like someone thought of this idea and they created a comic about it and now they're getting paid for it. I'm like, man, I should have thought about that. Hell, heck, Serenar should have thought about that. Like texts from George. Could you imagine? Like if George could text, what would George to actually George would just text about food. Never mind. Food and cardboard boxes. <laughs> there we go. That's all nicely delivered. Let's go, let's go scout where the other are. I think I could probably run the liner from there all the way to there. But let's make sure the trees are in the line of the uh, line. The line of the line. Yes, there, that, that made perfect sense in my brain. No, okay, where are the trees I just cut down? <laughs> oh, they're all the way over here, are they? No, they're not. Where are the trees for love of something actually that that's a thing where did the trees like no no they're here I'm an idiot they're over here okay I want to aim for something over there okay are you the best tree location yeah right about here is where I want to be oh okay I see what we can do here trade man hello we're gonna go from here that way okay that sounds good so we're going to be facing the, the radio tower. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, I can't open up the roof. I got no legs! Oh, well. All right. Let's, let's not back down the hill. That would be bad. I have, I have had that incident once or twice. These tractors don't actually stop very well going down the hill. All right. <clears throat> See, that tree right there is the one I want. Sort of. Okay, let's go. Wait, which tree did I want? <laughs> um, I don't know anymore. Let's just go find a tree. Go find a tree. Go find a tree. Go find a tree. A tree, 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 a tree. This tree. Will this tree work? Yes. How does that happen? One time I get it exactly right. And I bet you it won't reach over here because this thing is going to hate me. Wait a minute. How long is that? That's 15 meters. I thought I cut. No, I didn't. Okay, it's fine. I bet you it's not going to reach. Uh, okay. I should have gone for that tree. Well, well, butt waffles. All right, back up here. You know what? We're gonna, we're just we'll see what happens. Okay, it cannot reach this far, but that's not necessarily a bad thing right now. Eight meters. Turn off the carriage following mode. Thank you. All right, so that was eight. So now... Really? No, I'm not going to... I don't need the thing to take that. Come on now. We're just going to throw this in the uh, in the wood chipper thingy there. All right, let's get the rest of these up the hill. All right, where, where, there, and there. You to miss. Bye. Love it. All right, get back down here. Uh, bet you won't reach far enough, but we're going to try anyway. Okay, 16. Okay, that one isn't even 16 meters long. That's fine. Right, where was that cut? 
where, where was that cut? Like legit, where was the cut? Is that the, oh no. No, are you serious? Like it's off by a hair. <sighs> okay, fine. Wait, what? Yeah, okay. Off you go. I'm going to have to go get the tractor to come down and get that one, I guess. Bye! I could have carried that, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I wish there was just like a, a drop and return setting. That would be nice. Uh, da, 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 da. This one's turn. Really? Fine. Bye. I don't know what I'm going to build next. So I've got the sheep. I've got, I probably, I'm probably going to put in a horse pen, but I don't know where I'm going to put in the horse pen. Because, you know, everyone needs a horse. Everyone needs a horse. Okay, of course, of course. Unless the horse is Mr. Ed, in which case, you know, weird things happen. Okay, and then we go to 16. No, I'll just take the whole thing. It's fine. Will you let me connect both? You will. Excellent. Up and away. Bye. This makes the whole, like, dealing with this hill so much better. Up. Okay. <clears throat> Is that all the wood? Here, I'm going to have to go get, yep, okay, <clears throat> we're good. Uh... I can carry this, can I not? Yes, I can. See, I can just carry it. So what was the point of me sending it up on the yarder? I don't know, other than reasons. Um, there's another one I think I can carry. Can I carry this one? Nope, too heavy, too heavy. Too heavy, too heavy, too heavy. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't care. All right, let's go. Oop, nope, let's go up here. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, we got to go over here. Okay, what am I going to do? Gonna, we're going to leave the yarder for a minute because 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 uh, da, 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 da. hey it's Wolf's favorite mod manual attach that done all right let's let's gallivant down the hill and try not to roll the tractor <laughs> might have happened once or twice I've learned my lesson go straight down the hill don't turn nope that is the wrong thing thank you Nope, no, turn that. Come on, back up the hill. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I mean, we should be okay as long as I'm not too aggressive. So... As long as I'm not too aggressive, and as long as I don't put any... Um, uh, weight on the front of the tractor, we should be okay. One thing you, I learned not to do was pick up a, a log and then drive up the hill kind of sideways-ish. That, that doesn't end well. Oh, there's a tree here. Hold on, there's a tree here. Where are you, tree? There you are. Come here, you bugger. Come on. Come with me, Christmas tree. Come with me, Christmas tree. I've got a Christmas tree, a Christmas tree, a Christmas tree. Go there to be turned into firewood. Thank you. All right. It looks good for erosion like California. Well, yeah. No, I mean, no. It's fine because, because the, um, I've left all the grass. I've also just got my tractor stuck in a, there we go. There we go. We're fine. Everything's fine. There's no problems. It's all good. Hmm. I've also learned that my Ford truck that I use doesn't really have 4 by 4 is not a real 4 by 4 in this game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've, I've got the tow chain mod in. Because that's been needed at least once. Hmm. Turn that off. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to push this log closer. I'm not going to pick it up. I'm going to push it. Pushy, 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 pushy. Right there. It's a good spot for your log. Hmm. <clears throat> Somewhere around there. Oi, tractor. Come on. Where'd, <laughs> where'd the stump go? There it is. go stump is gone now it's it's literally a game of find the stump and <clears throat> I'm so pushy it's true it's true is there a stump in here no it does not appear to be okay I should have counted the stumps because then I would have known if I got them all but whatever uh, there. Lift the front. Ooh, come on, tractor. Woohoo! Made it. Sort of. Made it. Fair. Let's get those out of here because they annoy me. <clears throat> okay. Let's get rid of this uh, stump grinder. I guess this is a really bad spot to put the stump grinder. We're going to put it over here now. I just put in the uh, the gravel parking lot, so I'm 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 slowly figuring out where everything is going to go. And I just put in the sheep's. They're Welsh mountain sheep because I'm on a mountain. I have no idea why they're Welsh. They haven't said a word, and their names are super short and contain vowels and consonants, so they can't be fully Welsh. Um, let's actually... Yarder, come with me.
Uh, open up your help screen, you dingus, right? All right, that should be everything down here taken care of. It looks like it. Oh, we missed a stump right there. Oh, well. Oh, and another stump. Oh, and another tree. Nope, that's a stick. <laughs> Is that a tree? That's a stick. Pop. Bye bye. Um, I keep trying to pick that up, but I can't. BT, how you doing? <clears throat> So I've successfully finished uh, removing everything off of that. <clears throat> Good. Um, I don't know what we're doing next. <laughs> I got to move this stuff. You know what we're going to do? We're going to clean up. And then we'll move to uh, the next day. Okay, that's that one out of the way. Let me have all three of them? No, just two. That's fine. I'll take two. Mm -hmm. oh, I was almost going down the hill. Just popped out of sleep and saw I was on. Well, hopefully you can get back to sleep if that's what you want to do. If it's not what you want to do, then hopefully you get up and, and can go about your day. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, get out of me, forks. Thank you. Uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say something, and I done lost it. Nobody's surprised. Guess what you want to play? Serena, I know exactly what you want to play. You want to play Pope Jeffrey in the f nose with a stick. I have every belief that that's what we're going to be playing tomorrow. Yay. Serenar wants to play Subnautica. Well, I mean, once she gets through Raft, where she's fighting off sharks and stuff, then maybe Subnautica won't be as scary. Who is getting poked? Jeffrey the shark. It is on sale. That is true. Wolf needs to buy it because it's on sale, Hoosen. Wait to Subnautica 2 Wolf with multiplayer, and then I'll buy it for her and make her play it with me. That's really how it's going to work. You'll likely miss tomorrow. Well, on the bright side, train man, if you get <laughs> if you're bored during the the, the following week, uh, Sunday games should be on YouTube on Thursday now, in theory. If I remember to continue to press the stupid button, now that I got it working again. All right, that's off. Samalanda.
Hello. Uh, how do I turn this stupid thing on? There we go. On. No, not save this. Activate. Okay. <clears throat> oh, now it's loud in my ears. All right, let's get away from that thing. Semilander and friends, hello, welcome in. Thank you for the raid. You were playing Farm Sim 2. Well, welcome in. We're uh, we're living the hard life. We have a difficulty turned all the way up. We've got no money. I mean, part of that is because I just keep pay. I just keep buying things, but whatever. <clears throat> and um, yeah, we're we're building from nothing. <laughs> Building from the, oh my gosh, that is so ugly. I need to fix that, but I don't want to. Can I pick that up? No, I'm not allowed to. Fine. Where's the pickup truck? Let's get these things out of here. Everything is fine, Inter. Yes, that's true. Everything is fine. Well, welcome in, everybody. I am Dear Tippers. And I play, I don't know what I play. I play games. Farm Sim. Raft. We're playing Raft. Me and Sarah and I are playing Raft on Sundays. Um, what else do, we, do I play? I play pretty much anything. Uh, last week we tried uh, Sail Forth. We didn't enjoy Sail Forth, so we're not going to play Sail Forth again. Um, but Raft is pretty cool. Um, right now we're just stockpiling and getting stuff out of the way because I don't know how it got in the way. Raft is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, except for Jeffrey, he's a jerk. Freaking shark. If you name your shark, it's less deadly. Except for when it chews on your face. Or your butt. It's a jerk, Jeffrey. Anyway, um, if your name is Jeffrey, well, too bad. All right. Put the firewood in the truck. We're just going to sell the firewood. Because, meh. I'm not going to be able to clip into that, am I? No. Okay, well, that's that's fine. That's, that's not... The Jerk Jeffrey. Yeah. The Jerk Jeffrey. Jeffrey the Jerk. Get in there. In. In. <laughs> there. Alrighty. Now for these two that somehow... Farmsim thought they needed to fly. Whatever. Uh, so the only reason we got 100 grand is because of that tower up on the hill, because that makes me a bunch of money. That's the only reason that we're, we have the money we have. Because somebody spends all the money on terrain painting and plants. That's an impressive load with the fifth wheel. It's, I know. Um, the, see if it was my truck, my old truck, oh, my old truck. Um, one, I had a flatbed, um, <laughs> which was a heck of a lot more functional than this. And uh, I also had, because I had a flatbed, my fifth wheel, yeah, well, I didn't have a fifth wheel. I had a goose my gooseneck was inside the uh, the um, was inside the the flatbed, so it made life a lot easier. Oh, come on, you little pain in the butt! Come on, come on, get on the forks. There you go. But you know, ten thousand dollars of diesel f repairs, and I was like, yeah, no. Goodbye, truck. You were fun, but goodbye. Go to the Buffalo Branch. All right. Fifth wheel is the first thing that came to your mind to describe a gooseneck. Yeah. Well, I mean, realistically, a lot of people don't know the difference. All right. Let's see if this will all tie down. Um... Yeah, most people just don't know the difference. No, not lock that, lock that, and lock that. Thank you. It's fine. It's all fine. There's nothing, nothing untoward about this.
I wish I could could have gotten the winch on the front. Then it would have been more like my old truck. I could have gotten the flatbed on here. I would have been happy. Well, except for this is too new to be my old truck. <laughs> Oh no, I get, I get it, I get it. Sometimes you, you come up with a word and you're like, that's the word I'm gonna go with. I have that all the time. Only my problem is because I, I'm often reading or speaking French or Spanish at work. Sometimes it, it, the word that comes out of my brain isn't even English and I'm like, well, great. All right, let's sell this, oh, truck, get some brakes. Frickin' Ford, man. Wasn't a lot of money, but you know what? I'm fine with it. You mix Spanish and house uh, often? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. You end, you end up, your brain is just like, mm, I don't know. I had that problem. A few weeks ago, I had to do a demo and to a French client, so I was speaking French, and then I had to get on the phone with an English-speaking client, and uh, I, I couldn't come up with the words. All I could think of was the French words. People on the call were like, well, okay. Thankfully, they were Canadian, so they were like, okay, well, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh... Nice. Yes. Yeah. Cat in many languages. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, I think we're done. Yeah, we're done for the day. It's 1609. We're done for the day. Next day. No, we get up at nine o'clock because we ain't crazy. Yay, the next day. All right. Cats are not real. That's true, Rico. Cats are not real. Cats are pure, purely aliens in disguise. They're here to take over the earth. They're working in concert with birds. Sometimes they have little fights. That's when the, 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 the ceasefire between the cats and the birds ends, and then they have a little fight. Usually the birds lose. Um, but they're, they're, they're aliens. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> nonsense level 10 has been reached. Hush you. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take like a seven day wait here. Bop, bop. Um, I do 28 day months. I did that because reasons. I actually don't know the reason. Gato in Hausa is a female body part and cake in French. So I avoided talking about cake while in my small rural village in Francophone, West Africa for two years. Nice. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's go another. Uh, let's go. Let's 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 go another day. What I'm doing here is like. I'm a part-time farmer slash whatever. I figure I'm going on a trip. I wish they'd let you skip multiple days. If you could be like, hey, I'm going to skip multiple days. Um, that would be amazing. Oh, I'm sure there's a mod for that. <clears throat> I just haven't found it yet. Not that we have anyone in here obsessed with cake. No, no. Serenar is not obsessed with cake. I bet you if you could make cake and raft, that would be all she wrote. Did someone say cake? Yeah, speaking of. All right, let's, uh, we're just going multiple days here. I'm just gonna move us to October. What was that noise?
Uh, it's September. Do we want to go to October? Oh, what's that? Oh, great. Wood chips. Okay, that has stored firewood. That's fine. It's raining. It's pouring. The old man is snoring. Wake up, wolf. <laughs> How are my sheep after multiple days? They should be fine. The sheep should be fine. Yes, the sheep are doing wonderful. They have not reached puberty yet. Uh, the chickens are producing some eggs. The rooster is producing, well, some chickens, I hope. Um, and in the, though, here we are down to 87,000 liters and 91,000 liters. Oh, I should check the uh, water is fine in all greenhouses. Look at that. All right, let's go two more days. And by sleeping on the ground. Well... So they didn't make it so that you could go inside, which I kind of am sad about, but this is a in-game map. So, you know, there's limitations. Also, I've noticed that this house does not have a bathroom, but let's forget that fact for a moment. <laughs> I guess I just used that tree right there, but um, yeah, I can't go inside. So we just assume that I go inside. Oh, I checked if it was upstairs. So I used one of my fork, my fork, lift equipment and um yeah it's not in fact i can go get one and we can go and investigate this hey see hello we're investigating upstairs in the house that we can't go in yeah, i should be able to get up there See, I mean, maybe, maybe that wall is the bathroom. Maybe. I don't think there's a, is there a window on the back side? Maybe you're right. And I just didn't see the back side. Nope, there isn't. So, I mean, maybe there's a bathroom back up there, but it seems kind of weird that it's a two bedroom house like that with the bathroom upstairs and whatever nonsense um don't crash into that bark, 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 bark to you too so if i had this house this would be the bathroom downstairs like a logical human being and that would be the bedroom and it would just be a one bedroom house with a bathroom one bed one bath perfect perfect living conditions skis go into the next day <laughs> Sam Lander, I actually didn't know for the longest that they had removed the ability to go inside houses um, because I was always playing mod maps where I could go inside houses. <laughs> then, I, then I finally figured it out on, well, uh, what is it? Elkhorn, elk thing, whatever that map is. Um, yeah, we're just going to the next day. All right, let's get to October because that's what I want to do. Why? I don't know. I just do. Actually, I want to get to October because then it resets my fi my finances so I can actually track my finances better. Because the finance part of Farm Sim 22 is pants. Okay. It's October. It's October. All right. <clears throat> we made $34,000 last month, which I don't believe, but whatever. Misc, 248709 where did that come from? See, I hate that. How can a quarter million dollars be in misc? Look, it's a driving to not a far. Oh, right. Yep, exactly. Uh, 84,000 in that. I bought bales because I was lazy and didn't want to go get a baler. I sold almost 60 grand in stoof. $201 and sold wood. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know what that's from. That's from the contracts. 
Production cost, yeah. Property income, that's my towers. Property maintenance, fine. Vehicle leasing cost, what did I lease? Oh yeah, I remember what I leased. And running cost, and construction cost, and new vehicle cost, and new livestock cost. My problem is this $250,000 right here. What, did, what is you? What is you? What is you? What would be $250,000 in miscellaneous? No, because I don't have solar. Um, it That should come under property income, though. So I've got two towers. I've got a 5G tower and a big radio tower that's generating good money. Because I lost 4,600 on a different... <sighs> Because it's not sold vehicles. I was like, oh, did I sell vehicles? No, I did that there. See, this is my problem with farm sims finance. I'm like, come on, guys. What goes to MISC? Everything else seems to be accounted for, so... Yeah, we'll just ignore it and pretend it's not there. Um, all right. <clears throat> New day. It's October. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to check the price of firewood. All right. Price of firewood is trending up towards 700, which is great. Collectibles. Oh, it could be. I did run across a couple of those. So, yes, that's probably what it is. Insurance payments for DOS burning the garden to bits again. No, this isn't Court Farm. No, it isn't Court Farm. Um, no, it's not. Um, but, 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 but. what do we want to do? Let's see here. We can load up the trailer with firewood, but I don't know if I want to do that because firewood is, um, this is a silver wood farm, it's it's a premium expansion map I think uh, don't really need we don't really need anything there um, let's plan out what we're gonna build next because I like spending money all right let's look in animules we got uh, we got sheeps Meh. We can get dairy sheeps. Meh. Uh, bees. Covered in bees. Horses. Horses are important. We could get horses. Um, where the heck would I put my horses? Where am I going to put me horses? Hold me horses. I, I can put them here. Wee. That would be, that would be silly, but also would be so me right there to put the horses like right. Well, actually. That actually isn't a bad spot. Um, overlaps with another object. Well, it's about to not. There. Hmm. That kind of feels like a good... Um, there. That kind of... Well, yeah, that kind of feels good. What do you guys think? Would that be a good horse spot? I kind of feel like it's a good horse spot. I kind of wanted that tree in there, but then my water trigger goes underground which is annoying gosh I wish it, I wish it was like um, uh, city skylines where I could just like move it up and down within the context of the you know whatever um, that actually makes kind of some sense I can put my horses right there But it doesn't cost us a lot of money to get hearses up in here, up in this place. I'm going to have to get hay, which I'm going to have to buy the, the hay because I'm not going to go rent that equipment. I'm going to have to get the horse feed. 
That's probably a bad idea. Let's not do that. Let's go to bees. Do we want to put some bees in here? Whee. Um, maybe. I put the bees by the chickens. That sounds like a really bad idea. Um, oh, I, you know what? I could put the bees right here, couldn't I? Overlaps with another object. Do you, though? Do you? Because I don't think you actually do. Um, put the bees right there. What do we think? We want to put bees there? I don't know. That's a big beehive. Maybe we go with the smaller hives. Those would be kind of fun. Put a few smaller hives kind of along here. That might be kind of cool. I don't think I can, I don't think I want to spend money on productions yet. Um, hush, chicken. I hear you. Hush. Sugar mill. Oh, I don't need another sawmill. Don't need that. Don't need pancake production. Don't need mayonnaise yet. Um, I gotta have, gotta have barrels in order for me to build this and have anything produced. So we have to have barrels. Um, So I gotta find the barrel factory. Where the frick is the barrel factory? Uh, da, 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 da. That's like over here somewhere. Paper, pets, off iron furnace, flooring, furniture, barrel factory, which, you know, I don't, one, I don't have enough money, but two, it's not, it's definitely not going up here. I think this is, this is where we need to probably work on this, clearing this off, because this is where we should put that. And I do need to put in the, the iron mine in order to get the stuff to... And then I need an iron furnace. So I think I need to do this down here. I need to clear this chunk of land. Her. My challenge with clearing that chunk of land is going to be I don't really need all that wood <laughs> yet. And right up until the moment, I do. Uh, okay. Do we put in bees or do we save our money? Regardless, we're going to have to do something else. I think we're going to be cutting that those trees down the slope. Which means I should get all the equipment ready. Mm, I'm not going to be able to pull them up using the highliners or the whatever this thing is. So we're going to put it away. up to that mm. yes I'm trying to decide what um, yeah I'm trying to decide what what all equipment I wanted to take with me down the hill but we're going to take all this equipment down the hill. I better actually own that land. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay. That would be really annoying if I didn't. <laughs>
Oh, awesome! You don't have a front three. Okay, good. That's fine. I can still lift you even though you don't have the three point or the the PTO. It's fine. All right, let's head down the hill. Yeah. It should still work even without the PTO. Yeah. I know it should, but I won't do it. I refuse. All right, we're going to go down here. Leave that one there. Train. Train moves fast. I should cut this dead wood out of here, but you know what? We'll do that later. Okay, let's get our other tractor. But we're going to be more efficient because that was an inefficient thing to do. Which shouldn't surprise anybody. Oh, you're going to feed the cookie monster. Very good. Cookie monster love cookies. It's literally just a way to get rid of your, your channel points. It means nothing. It's just there. Oh, look. We got pumpkins. Oh, that's cute. I'd never do that. I don't like, I do not get the point of people taking pumpkins and putting them outside and be like, oh, look at this. This is the holidays. No, no. You grow pumpkins that are edible so you can eat them. Make pumpkin soup, you know, normal stuff. Let's be efficient and smart about this, which I know is a shock to anybody who's watched my stuff before. What if you don't like eating pumpkins? Well, then just leave them for other people. Like, I don't see the point of letting food sit outside and rot. But I'm, I'm, as anyone knows, I'm, I'm kind of different. So yeah. All right. Nope. Get inside. Turn that engine off. All right. Now, because of that mod, ha! My tractor will never fall off. Only kind of us you. Why is that chicken outside of the chicken pen? Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, but they don't do a good job, Semilander. Like I had a vanilla low loader in the pull sign map with on Wolf's farm. And as I'm driving, I slam on the brakes. Came forward. Okay, now let's, uh, I shouldn't turn the truck off. Okay, let's survey this situation. Can I buy, 
can I buy marking spray? Why can't I buy purple marking spray? That's really annoying. Fine. Yes. Okay. Um, what I was saying, um, uh, Sam Lander, before the commercial came, was uh, the I ran the vanilla low loader on pulled sign, and I had it loaded up with equipment. <clears throat> and when I hit the brakes, all the equipment shifted forward. And some of it might have ended up off of my trailer and on my truck, which was annoying. So I, I encountered that here on this farm early on where this deck doesn't have a lock for the tra the tractors. The tractors sit on it, yes, but over time, especially with these hills, they slowly slide back and forth on the deck because of reasons. So by buying the, the front loader attachments that have a locking thing, um, then I'm able to basically lock the tractors down by putting a front loader on them. That's why that tractor, even though it shouldn't ever, it probably will never run a front loader, it has a front loader attachment because I can then swap them out. Um, and then I can lock down the front loader attachment. And once that's locked down, then the tractor's locked down. So it's kind of a cheaty way to do what I wanted to do. Um, remember this map has free iron ore. I don't know anything about this map, Drain Man. So no, I don't know that. Um, what is free iron ore? Uh, all right, so the first things first, let's, um, that off of there. What is this free iron ore thing you're talking? I don't understand. Just don't understand. Okay. Now, get the mulcher unit on here. And we're going to take the mulcher unit and run through here. Um, but you can't tap to them. It has equipment, but you can't tap to them. So is that what this is? Oh, okay. Silver run, that is what that is, okay. Oh, okay, so that's, oh, all right. I was wondering what those random things were, like this thing here. I'm like, why is there a, whatever that is here, wherever this is, sawmill. Okay, so I can buy this mineshaft thingy. What does that even cost? Uh, you don't have to buy it. I didn't mean to hit exit. Um, so you just have access, just use it. Oh, okay. Go there and scoop. Oh, all right. Well, that's interesting. I love how Farmson tells you these things. Um, so what other cheeky things are in here that I didn't know about? <laughs> Gas station, a hotel, cafe, vintage clothes, the fire department, furniture factory, wood turner, Barrel. Oh, there's a barrel factory here. Well, that's nice. So in theory, I could take stuff to the barrel factory. That's a roller coaster. Um, oh, okay. 
so hmm. hold on all right hold on I know I could go visit them but we're, we're doing it this way Alright, first we're going to go over here because one of the things I thought about buying Okay. So this is barrel making. Okay, so I don't have to that's good because I was not looking forward to building all the production. So I can buy this. How much is this? Buy a production point. What is that? 120,000. Holy cataroni. Okay. Was there a forge around here that we can... There's a flooring factory, a pet accessory factory, wood turner, furniture, shingle, art accessories, boat yard... Paper factory, okay. See, I didn't know that about this map because I don't pay attention really to the maps. Okay, so if I need to, so the one thing I do need to build then is the, the ore processing, the forge. Yeah, okay. Hi people, what the heck are you people doing? Get away from me. Freaky town. So I can build the forge down where I'm currently got all those those uh, all the equipment ready to go. So we can build the forge down there. All right, so we can build the forge down here. Yeah, because this is a nice big flat area. Not a lot of stuff. It's by a railroad line because I know you don't need that, but we need that. All right, that's cool. All right, so what we're going to do then... is how close it's like not enough money yeah I know I don't have enough money but I want to know how close I can get to that um, I kind of think it should be like maybe maybe I build it there oh if I go back here of course Somewhere along here. Somewhere along here. Okay. I know what I'm going to do. I mean, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but... I can get rid of that tree. I don't know why I'm marking them. I'm just going to cut them all down anyway, but it's going to be helpful to my brain. So that one's marked because I think that's the, this is the line that I want to, yeah. Hi, there's a tree here. Okay, and that's that thing which isn't a tree, and that thing which isn't a tree. So then we go this way. Oi, stupid thing. Okay. 
Oop, missed. <laughs> so I think we're going to take down those. That's going to kind of de define our land that we're going to work. But I'm going to come in here with the Fiat and the Mulcher, and I'm going to just cut this open because I can't see a blooming thing. You really don't like the thing on the ground, do you? No, you don't. All right. So I think right along here. Thinking, my thinking here is that we'll crash into a tree, but that's fine. Um, by going in with this thing, uh, get off of that. One, I need to see where I'm going, and I'm having so much trouble with the bushes. It's fine. It's all fine. This is all going to be fine. All right. So now, and the reason I did that was because it creates a line that I can physically see on the ground. And now if I go here. Yeah. That's going to work because if I take out those trees, that will fit in that space mostly. Wow, that's about as straight as a dog's hind leg, but that's all right. Before you think this is crazy, I mean, it probably is, but before you think it's completely crazy, um, this is exactly how I um, dealt with putting in my uh, sawmill as well. All right, let's start felling some trees. Um, let's, let's go with the little ones first. No, nope, I need this guy, please. If I can get the little ones out of the way, I can see things a lot better. Hi, big tree. I don't like pagoda dogwoods. They're a bigger pain in the butt than I care to deal with, but whatever. All right. I think the logical thing is probably going to be to sell this wood at the, the sawmill, just because it's right here, and we really don't need it at our sawmill. send you this way.
Okay, let's try not to drop any on the train tracks because I'm sure that wouldn't be a good idea. Where's this? There it is. I got a stick. I got me a stick. Okay, so we're gonna cut. We're gonna prep the land for the forge. We are short about 80 grand, but you know what? Got to start somewhere. We might as well prep the land. And then, of course, there's, of course, what have you done there? I don't know. I just, I've done things and it's gotten, it's all gotten out of hand again. Oh man. All right. Can I pick you up? Yes, I can. All right. Nope. Come here. Stick. All right, so we're going to build a forge. I think we're going to need about... I think I want about 200 gram before I build a forge, though. Bushy stick, yes. Um, yeah, so I want about 200 before I build a, a forge because I'm going to need... I'm going to need money for, I'm sure I'm going to need money for incidentals. Get off. Because that's totally logical, but that's all right. We're going to go with that. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to need about 200. Probably realistically, I probably should aim for 220, I'm thinking, before I uh, invest that kind of money in the forge. Um, 20. So realistically, it's going to be probably six months or more before I can even get it. So I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this work other than the fact that it has to be done. So we might as well start it. I mean, I guess six months would be about the time it would take to actually build something. So, I mean... Can you, can you lop, please? Thank you. Um. Because <clears throat> I've made life so much harder on myself by, by generally just being me and making this map harder than it needs to be, probably. But that's all right. Are we hanging off the back? No, we're not. I mean, we're hanging off the front a little bit, but that's all right. We won't hit the truck. Eight meters is about the max length that trailer should have in it. That was 9.7, so, I mean, whatever. Are you going to use big forestry equipment? Well, eventually I might. But right now... I don't, I, I don't, I don't see a good cost return on that. Um, the map starts you off with some big, with a cutter, a big cutter and a thing, but I sold it right off because I wanted the money to do other things. And I know I could probably, you know, move faster without having to hand cut everything, but at this stage, we have more wood than we need up in up at the farm, and I've been hand cutting everything. So I 
The answer is basically yes, eventually we'll need to, but right now I'm not convinced I need bigger equipment. It would be nice, don't get me wrong, especially for these super tall trees, but. Oh, you're going to phase through things. Okay, that's fine. What does marking spray do? It just puts a red X on the tree. I was using it to try to see my sight lines and failed miserably. So that X right there is because I put the mark on it. Probably should just move the trailer closer, but I'm being lazy because it involves moving the truck and hooking the truck and doing all that. But this is also why I did the 28 day months because I'm, I knew I was going to end up doing stuff like this. And yeah, I could move the game along faster with uh, like a three day month or whatever, but it just felt better to do it this way. Are you, oh, you are, okay. All right, the dogwoods. You have to lop them. Can I get nope, I had it for like a split second. Go. These one, this is why I don't like these trees, because <laughs> it's like, well, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna spend an exorbitant amount of time limbing them. Come on, let me limit. Come on, I saw you flash. There we go. All right, can I pick this one up, or is it too heavy? It's too heavy. All right. That. Get rid of that because I don't want it. All right, so that's that one ready to go. There we go. Great. I don't know what it's cutting, but I'll just let it go. stick. Thank you. So now that I know that I can buy a bunch of the productions in town, that makes this much easier because I was, I was like really trying to figure out how I bought, how I was going to deal with placing all the productions with all the mountainous terrain. So now that I know this, 
going to make my life so much easier. Oh, are you going to be your turn or 50? No. Okay. Uh, other trees that I felled. Okay, that one's at the edge, so that's fine. Let's get this guy down. do is we'll cut them into oh I need to, I wanted to take this one down too okay all right I don't know why but let's do it Timbo okay. Brussels hello That's that tree done. Timba! Farming trees? Yeah, pretty much. We're clearing so that we can build a production. Uh, is it economical? I mean... Well, it's the only way I can build the production. <laughs> so, I don't really have a choice. Did you just cut that one little thing off the... There. Tree felling is a business. Um, it's it's not bad. I mean, I think you make more money on standard farming, but this map, which is uh, one of the premium expansion maps. You don't really have much farming you can do because it's a it's a mountainous tree space. So you think hugely profitable? Do you though? I I don't know if I agree. I think they're profitable. I don't think they're hugely profitable. Come here, stick. Tree should make more noise than falling. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things wrong with the game in that respect. Oh, that's true, similar. I guess if you pass days fast enough, they're worth a lot. Yeah, I'm being a git and just passing one day at a time. Uh, all right, I got two more, and then we just got to cut them into eight meter length and load them up. You tree? Are you a tree? Are you a tree, though? I don't know if you are. You're not. You're a fake tree. You're a faux tree. One more tree. Uh, questions only in farm sim. Are you a real tree? Yeah, that's true. Um, Should you install mods from day one? Well, let me wait until I know that the uh, ad break is over. Do, 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 do. All right. 
Is that done? That is done. Woo! All right, ad break is over. Should you install from the beginning? I would say vanilla first because otherwise you're not going to know what is actually a quality of life improvement mod. Um, and you won't really know what you want to do until you've you've spent some time in the game. All right, is that going to fit in where I want? Yep, sure is. It's going to fit right there, which is kind of where I want. I want it close to the train track, so that's going to work. Just need to clear out all the trees. Nice. Um, like stuff like uh, my measuring mod. I only install that when I'm playing and doing a lot of tree work. Otherwise, I don't really need that. Uh, 15, 16 meters. That'll be fine. It is this tree. That this is my problem when I cut down too many trees. I have trees overlapping trees, and it gets all very confusing for me. Oh, hey, I thought I limbed you. Can you please be limbed? Thank you. Nope, not 8.2. Come on, give me the right tree. Oh, monkeys. Ah, oh, the monkeys. Thank you for triggering the monkeys. The monkeys love new people. The monkeys are always happy to see new people. I will warn you, though, that the monkeys are monkeys. And as such, monkeys may bite. Uh, on the bright side, these monkeys have all been vaccinated. They have had their shots. They are good to go. However... There is a particular monkey who shows up in my chat from time to time named Farmer Kurt. He bites, has not had his shots, and we don't know where he's been. So if you see Kurt, you should probably be aware he is a bitey monkey who has not had his shots and probably has been playing in poo. More a hyena than a monkey. Oh, he's, yeah... There, shot the monkeys. I did not shoot any monkeys. I don't shoot monkeys. I mean, not often anyway. Uh, oh, that's just a stick. All right, come on, stick. No, nope, come back here, stick. Press the wrong button. Stick goes flying. You said they had shots. Well, yeah, they were vaccinations. I didn't shoot them. We got to keep the monkeys safe and healthy. Kurt, on the other hand, we kind of don't want safe and healthy some days. <laughs> can I pick this up, do you think? Oh my gosh, I can. All right, cool. All right, so tomorrow we will be probably, knowing how things work with Serenar, um, will be Raft because she'll decide that she is hyper fixated on raft so we'll be playing raft um oh that was a nice leg spike there game appreciate that all right are you gonna say that's too heavy yes okay good um oh no let's not do that pick it up in the middle like a normal human being uh so there's that i will warn you now uh heads up a uh, well ahead of time the week of the 13th and 14th of April, basically, uh, will be no streams. I'm going to warn you that now. Um, and therefore, um, if you're watching this on the YouTube bit, um, no follow-up week YouTube thing, because I will be at a work thing. So there's that. Um, but beyond that, uh, I think we're in a good stopping point. Uh, we've, we've cut down trees. I've got a... Our, put them all together. I'm going to, I think I'm going to straight sell them because um, straight selling the wood should get me some money. Where the heck is wood? I've lost me wood. Uh, November, November, October, October. It's currently $1,700, a thingamabobber. 
you can tell I've been selling wood. Can you can you not tell? Um, I'll probably just straight sell it. So anyway, yep. Uh, appreciate everyone showing up, and always remember that you should horse around. Don't say nay to anything. That's fun to do. Nay. All right, take care, everyone, and I'll find some of the raid. And <laughs> hush, Wolf Man. And me and Sarenar will see you tomorrow. Um, so hold on for the raid. Oh, dude, come on. What are you driving, a Volvo? <laughs> I mean, not trust that this might pass was a Volvo, but yeah. Uh oh, I got a problem. <laughs> Hold on. Engine out. <laughs> engine out procedures. I need my engine out checklist. Well, Dennis, I do want to get into. I do want cow. Tech and Pizza has good zero to forklift. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, welcome, Jaden. We appreciate you showing up and hanging out. Um, <laughs> Tank Man has to have New Holland. I just need cheap tractors because, you know, I'm cheap. I'm not sure whether to blame the new remote or just persistence on this. Okay, can't make that. <laughs>